Ladies and gentlemen, I kindly encourage you to take your seats. And I guess the brave ones will find the front row. I'm not that scary. Everybody who's in the back, I encourage you to come in front. Now, my name is Gleb. It's a weird name, short name. My job in the next around three minutes or so is to introduce what's going to happen today. As you're probably guessing, Magnetic Latvi is a lot about how to attract things into the ecosystem of Latvia, how to develop things in Latvia, but also what it has to offer. So to, to begin with today, we're going to have the economics minister of Latvia talk about this, Mr. Asheradens. <laughs> now, I've been learning that. I've been, I spent a lot of time learning Latvian names. But just in case, quick disclaimer, if I mispronounce a Latvian name, please be patient with me. I'm going to attempt to. Now, after that, we will have Andris Ozos. Now, he's a skydiver and a chess player. Now, one cool thing about our previous speaker, he also happens to be a sailor. I like to humanize people. Not, their, not just their positions, not their just fancy director points, but who they are. So these guys are very active, and they're here today. They're going to tell you a little about, well, what Latvia has to offer and what they're doing to support it. Now, you're going to be hearing a lot of me, maybe a little too much. My job is to bring out something interesting in each speaker and give you an idea what's going to happen next. We're going to have panel discussions about an ecosystem and how media can basically start a snowball and attract funding, talent, people into this region, for instance. That's going to be hosted by Neil Murray. Now, this is going to be two days for her very interesting conversations. We have a lovely room, but in this room, we are going to have very big names today and tomorrow, including 500 startups. We'll have Peter Westerbacher. And that man I'm going to tell you a little bit more about. Very exciting people. Now, just to quickly check my time, I'm still there. Before I continue and give it over to Arvils, before, I'd like to get to know, how many of you today are journalists? Could you please raise your hand? Journalists in the room. Understood. Clear. Understood. How many of you are actual founders, company owners? Could you please raise your hand? Founders in this room, people, entrepreneurs. Could you raise your hand, please? All right. Government employees. This is purely government employees, government employees, government employees. Understood. Okay. Corporates. People working in large companies, telcos, banks. Wow, we have a really diverse group. We got everybody, right? every walks of life. Everybody's interested in one thing, and that is this stage and what it can offer. Now, on this lovely note, warm hand of applause for Arvil Sacheradens, the Economics Minister of Latvia. I welcome you on the stage, please. I give you my hand. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning to everybody, and thank you for pronouncing my name quite correct, and I'm very happy about that. And uh, of course, uh, welcome here in uh, TechChill, and I'm very pleased to see so many uh, speakers, investors, academics, uh, uh, startup guys, uh, startup people here around in TechChill, and, and this is one of the, uh, the must events of the year here in Latvia. And of course, I first of, uh, firstly would like to thank uh, uh, Maria Ruchevska and her team for uh, organizing this event. And, and this is really warm welcome from the government side to Maria. And please uh, send her. Good Maria, yes, very, very good. Good, good. Okay, and a little bit about the uh, Latvian startup ecosystem. And I have to say uh, that uh, uh, it is attracting more and more. Uh, uh, international attention and uh, and I have to say that's becoming an increasingly important and vital part of development of uh, this country and as a small nation uh, with less than two million people the only uh, tactics what is efficient is to be uh, be uh, loud and noisy and loud and noisy and 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 we do the same thing and together with startup ecosystem we are uh, we last years we've been presented in all uh, major uh, global events in in tel aviv in in silicon valley in uh, helsinki in slush and and really uh, 
uh, achievements, what this little country and, and uh, this little ecosystem done are, are, are really great, and I as a minister could be, uh, could be only more than happy. And uh, if we look uh, from the government perspective, uh, uh, one of our top priorities uh, uh, it was to support of uh, of uh, of uh, star support of uh, startup ecosystem. Uh, if we speak about the country's economical growth, of course we can be uh, more than happy, and of course we are more than happy with more than 320 uh, we more than 320 startup companies, uh, which reaching uh, over uh, more than uh, over 210 million euro investment, and last year was uh, was really great. It was attached more than uh, 32 million investments, and and of course. It's more than that, there's a lot of dialogues, forums, active collaboration platforms, and, and of course we, we can't wish more. Uh, regarding government priorities, I would say the number one is uh, Latvian startup law, and uh, it is first year wasn't uh, so good as we expected, but uh, new amendments, uh, I think uh, that's improved uh, condition, but very important was uh, brought uh, the, uh, this law on, on the public scene and, and uh, in, pub, in putting all public, uh, uh, public legal system new terms of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, startup ecosystem was very important. Uh, for example, uh, like uh, today's situation where the parliament have a debate what it's mean business angel, yeah? And it's still uh, parliament uh, have a fundamental discussion about it. Could we put in angels in legislation or not? Uh, that's, of course, create a lot of fun around it, but uh, I think it's very important to put attention on that. Well, uh, and other thing, of course, uh, the big international uh, festivals like uh, uh, like uh, uh, Tech Chill, uh, DLD Festival, and, and many others that are are very important. And of course, I'm very happy that more and more Latvian. Uh, uh, startups putting Latvia on a global scene like uh, Infogram, Sonar Works, Na Naco Technologies, and and it's really spread Latvian name across the border. Uh, regarding uh, our uh, work uh, together with startup communities, I would like to mention a couple of things like uh, uh, business incubators network, which has been created both in the new universities and regions. Uh, like another priorities we have uh, uh, that is uh, recently held startup uh, startup forum which a target how to integrate more higher education and corporation uh, is how to integrate uh, startups in the uh, life of higher education institutions and corporation and and many other things uh, regarding specialization of startups in Latvia I could mention a couple of areas where we see is a rapid development already the Number one, of course, is uh, uh, we can mention life sciences uh, uh, and uh, drones and fintech industry. And of course, if we're speaking about fintech industry, that is uh, attracting more than 80% of investments like uh, Nordgen, uh, Nautica, and many others. And of course, uh, government uh, do a lot uh, to cooperate with, with them. The, finally, I would say there are uh, uh, other aspect of uh, of uh, government homework, what was done last year, that is development of, uh, of funding system, and of course uh, uh, there will be kickoff of, uh, of total funding of 15 million uh, for three new accelerators. Uh, various sources of capital will be available for uh, for around of 16 million euros in the for the venture capital, and I would say uh, there is no doubt that will of course attract a great inflowing uh, private investment flow. But uh, one important thing that I would like to mention, and that is uh, that is originally for this event, uh, that is, uh, let me take an honor uh, right here and right now today to launch the opening the Latvian representative office in Silicon Valley. 
uh, on my view, this is a great opportunity for Latvian business to have a gateway straight to the biggest tech and unicorn birthplace in the world. And uh, that is an other achievement what the Latvian government uh, uh, to, did together with the uh, Latvian investment agency to open a representative office in Silicon Valley. And please put a video on, on an ecran, on the screen here. Hello Tech Show, greetings from San Francisco. We have some great news for you guys from Silicon Valley. Let me tell you all about it. Welcome to WeWork. From the 1st of February, Latvian startups will have a soft landing zone in Silicon Valley. It means you get an access to a working desk, you get an access to meeting rooms, and what's more important, you get an access to the WeWork community. 50 million? It's a deal, Mr. Investor. Also, we will organize trips from Latvia to Silicon Valley, meetings with potential investors and accelerators. It's also refreshing that these trips will be co-financed by LIA. It's a stunning view. Basically, it's everything you need to get it done. Today is an official launch date of the office, uh, representation office here in uh, San Francisco. But I would like to, to wrap it up to saying, on my view, government uh, did all what necessary to, for one uh, such country government to do. And now we're really looking forward for our uh, development of our first uh, uh, unicorn. And I'm, I hope that soon we will, we'll have it. Thank all you. All right. Much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Minister of Economics, a lot. We have Thank you very much. Now, I have around 30 seconds. I'll use some of that to remind our next speaker. Let's try to keep it within time limits. Could you shave off one minute? So instead of seven minutes, could you do six? That is my kind request. We will attempt to be on time. Now, Andris Ozos is the director of the Latvian Investment Agency. And you're going to be hearing a lot of people from this agency today, including Olga Barretu. Now, pardon if I'm mispronouncing your name. They are going to basically talk the opportunities in a little bit more detail, what LOT has, has to offer and what they have been doing. Now, Andres, without further ado, I kindly ask you on stage and a warm hand of applause for this lovely man. Thank you. Looking forward to this. Let it rip. So, Mr. Minister, thank you for doing part of my job uh, so, uh, to speak. Uh, in a way, also formal stuff, but very important. I mean, that was my part. And Minister, uh, by uh, no doubt, among Latvian startup diaspora or startup uh, ecosystem and players is a really defender. Before I say thanks to Maria, I need to say thanks to you, but they, I postponed for a second. Because they, usually you spend all those six minutes for saying thanks. I try to shorten it up. But uh, about startup law and those preconditions, uh, everybody who are Latvians and who know what's going on in this country, they will agree to you, Minister, that this is not a political declaration. It's something what is really done so far. According to the long list of priorities of the government, there I, I'm kind of slightly cynical saying that uh, to claim the opposite would be really stupid because you say we will need to be more productive, we need faster internet, we need more technologies. Try to say the opposite. Slower internet, no productivity, do bad things. So this is mainly obvious, but um, uh, as LIAA, we are really happy that we have attracted a team who didn't work in the government or civil service before, and they are dedicated uh, from private sector, uh, coming, joining part of uh, this uh, ecosystem. Also, Olga already mentioned we built, a, I would say, a great uh, support team here as well. What also I wanted to mention, Minister, is that uh, you together with us as well brought different startups to different world locations, showing the world and also helping here locals to understand it better. We went together with you and the uh, startups, also Maria, to different countries, to San Francisco as well, to Palo Alto, then we went to Israel. We learned from the world's best. Latvia is a fertile land. We used to be agricultural land. Didn't, did you know that uh, our GDP per capita uh, before World War was uh, larger than in Belgium or in Denmark? So there were 
events which kicked us back and now we are catching back, not in agricultural form anymore. Now we have fertile land for business, for technologies, for innovation. And uh, what makes this, I would not say the stage or the country, but the region exceptional, I think this is a concentration of creative minds and passion for that, what we are doing. Also what you, what you Maria, are doing. And uh, uh, of course I'm a civil servant, I need to announce something as well. So, um, and uh, commercialization reactor and deep tech atelier event in April is very important. We will bring more together or closer together scientists with startups and more deep tech startups. Also, we are uh, exploring strategic partnerships with some nations I'll mention later on. And uh, we are about to kick uh, off uh, also in the airport uh, magnetic Latvia launch. And those of you also foreign speakers who are flying this weekend uh, home through airport of Riga, please visit magnetic Latvia launch at the airport. This is absolutely great launch. Why magnetic Latvia? That's the long story. We claim our country is attractive. Latvia is attractive. Magnetic speaks for itself. If you speak about personality, like you are magnetic personality, you are charismatic, you are irresistible. So uh, we suggest that you get more of our country. And uh, Maria, actually Latvians benefit most from that because foreigners benefit from textile. They improve their karma, they share their knowledge. But Latvian concentration is extreme and I think we learn a lot. So uh, without stealing the show from Olga who will speak about hows and whys, and what exactly we are doing. So uh, thank you very much for being here and uh, please enjoy all the uh, days with, uh, of tech chill, with tech chill, of tech chill and uh, uh, get the personal satisfaction in the end and during the process. Thank you very much. And of applause. <laughs> Andres, thank you very much. I'm gonna give this over to Olga very soon. Before that, Olga Barretu, ladies and gentlemen. She is the chief startup instigator at the Latvian Investment Agency, which is a very interesting title for me. Instigator, up to no good, something interesting. I'm looking forward to this. Here, I've talked to her briefly and here's what I know. There's a very large pool of money available for startups in Latvia. Here's another thing. This is, I guess, new. The Latvian Investment Agency will become the one-stop shop for all the startups in Latvia. So they're going to be offering not just advice, but also contacts to go, for instance, to the U.S. And Olga is going to talk about the practical, real things during the next 30 minutes that can help companies in this room to go global. Now, on this note, warm hand, strong hand of applause for Olga Barretto. Please, please. Thank you. Can you hear me, guys? The first time probably with this kind of microphone from me. So you can hear me, right? Cool. So, yes, I'm, I'm Olga Barreto. Actually, my last name is a little bit longer than that, but not so many people can remember. Uh, but if you wish, I'm Olga Barreto Gonzalez. And uh, exactly, I'm the chief startup instigator at Investment and Development Agency of Latvia, which is LIA for short. Don't ask me why. It might not make exact sense in, in, in English. But our new identity, and you will see a lot of it during this event, is Magnetic Latvia. And this is uh, what we really... Um, like and we really would like you to like, right? So uh, my task here is uh, to go into very details, into very specifics of what Latvian government uh, has to offer to startups which uh, found themselves in Latvia. So both local and foreign which opt to come here. And um, just uh, before I plunge into the very specifics and uh, what goodies and cool stuff we have here in Latvia, I would like to emphasize what also Gleb already revealed that our ambition is to become a one-stop shop uh, for all startups. And what it means in practice? Well, we want to be that one door, one single door where everybody can knock and receive all the information about how it is here, how Riga is a, a city to live, how uh, the business opportunities look like, what is the cost of doing business and what not, where to groom your favorite dog. I have no idea what, what the questions might be. So everything. We would like to take care of everything for startups. And of course, 
uh, all the stakeholders who accompany startups, be it investors, right, uh, supporters, and things like that. And for that, uh, like we are, we are working on this premise, right, one-stop shop. We are not yet there, we are going there, and we have a lot of partners who support us in the process. In the meantime, we have established uh, what we call a startup so uh, SOS email, right? Uh, so startup at liap.gov.lv, where we receive every day, right now, a dozen of different requests. We hope to receive more of them with each day passing. And yes, now, everything what we have to offer and uh, why I hope you are here as well. So this is just a, a snapshot of all the support mechanisms um, we, we have to offer. And uh, during my presentation, I will basically go into each and every of them and explain you how it works. And uh, if I don't uh, you know, mention and answer all your questions, please approach me anytime. I will be here for the two days of this event. So grab me and let's have a talk. So, startup visa, uh, you know, perhaps nothing new because uh, pretty much everybody is doing that and, and so are we. In this case, uh, it's a startup visa and, okay, we refer to it as visa, but we have to remember it's a temporary residence permit issued uh, by the immigration office and we as an agency are involved in the process and we smooth the process out and we help the immigration office uh, to to actually do that. Um, again, everybody is doing that, uh, except maybe with a difference here, it's, uh, the, the process is uh, much easier, I would say. The only critical factor and the only critical paper which a startup needs to submit is a one pager about what they intend to do in Latvia. No business plans, no something super strict and huge. Another thing is uh, agency, our agency, LIA, runs innovation motivation program. And this is a program designed for actually, you know, those entrepreneurs in the making or those who consider should they, how they, would they, and so on. So this program is designed to inspire and to ignite some processes. So hackathons are run there, different seminars and things like that. So not necessarily for startups, but you know, for those who, who wish to be there one day. And then the best part probably, and this is the part of the startup law, which uh, the Minister of Economics and our director mentioned as well. So yes, startup law, which was passed more than a year ago, right now uh, under the amendments, uh, and we expect the amendments uh, to be finalized pretty soon. So yes, what's good about that is the taxes, no income tax for private, for, for individuals and for corporates, so income tax, zero and fixed social tax. Uh, and what it means in practice is that, uh, I'll just give you a very uh, specific example. So uh, as a startup, if you have an employee and his or her salary is 1,700, you will be paying uh, about 600 in the social tax altogether, right? So if you apply for the law and you qualify, you can cut the cost by half. So 300 euros is fixed per month. Again, I will not go into too much details, you know, and, and computations, but yeah, if you, if you wish to see exactly that, just grab me by my hand and we will discuss how the numbers look like. Another part uh, and perk of the startup law actually is the fact that we co-finance talent. So pretty often startups really need to, you know, hire someone uh, very intelligent, with a lot of skills, uh, be it designing, programming, whatever it is, right? And for startups, uh, the, the major cost actually would be people, right? They don't have posh offices yet, no cars or equipments yet, so yes, it's about people. So if startup qualifies for the startup law, then we return 45% of the overall cost of this employee to the company, which is a pretty amazing thing. Right, and another sweet thing is the money, the actual cash, and everybody likes money and everybody asks about that all the time, and we are really happy to see that uh, the 15 million acceleration fund is now up and running, and there are just some last um, uh, details being 
ironed out in order for the for the funds to become really available and the call for proposals for for startups will be open quite soon so this the, this money was um, actually released by by our uh, development bank, so to say, Altum, and uh, it's 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 public money, right? Available for pre-seed and 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 seed uh, investments. So for early stage startups, on average about fifty thousand euros, plus or minus. It it depends on the program, and we have and we have three funds managing this money. So soon in the public space, you will see a really uh, loud and noisy, uh, you know, uh, uh, calls for applications from from startups. So this will be available now, and what is good, uh, if we you know, like, have a very holistic look at this whole uh, money thing, this acceleration funds will be followed by the growth funds, which is a very logical step to do, right? So at the moment, when the accelerated startups will be ready to take the next step, we will have the growth funds ready for them. And they will be uh, 600 million at the moment, we confirm that. And yes, there will be already larger amounts, and you know, to, to, to scale the startups and take them a notch further. Another thing which uh, our agency is involved in uh, is business incubators. So right now we run 15 of them, 14 business incubators uh, spread all around Latvia, so in different uh, corners of Latvia, and uh, one incubator of creative industries. And yesterday, uh, those of you who uh, had a chance to, to visit, I hope, I hope you like that one. It's Beautiful premises, actually. So there are two programs which business incubators run, and uh, those are the pre-incubation, six months. So again, you know, those wannabe entrepreneurs, startups, not necessarily startups, right? Conventional, traditional businesses are welcome too. So six months to, to help them understand if they are ready, if they want to, things like that. And then the incubation, the full-scale incubation uh, program, uh, which takes up to four years. So this is what we have in the making, and so far it's been quite successful. Uh, we have a few representatives actually from different incubators here at the event. So again, if you would like to connect, just grab me by my hand. You know what to do next, right? And then we have an innovation vouchers program in, in agency. So basically it's a, it's a very straightforward program. Um, as an entrepreneur, again, be it startup or not, uh, what's important is that you're an SME. You want to innovate, you know, you want to take your product or your service uh, from point A to point B, and this distance would equal innovation. So this would exactly be the program for you. Uh, Leah is co-financing 60% of the overall, uh, let's call it project value, and it equals to 25,000 euro max. So very straightforward again. The rest is covered by you to, you know, have actually uh, ownership of this, of this project. And then, um, well, what we call the cool stuff or, or you know, soft stuff, the outreach support uh, which our agency provides uh, and in, ensures for startups. Uh, so our main idea is to, you know, give startups opportunities here in Latvia and given then that, that we are a very small market, so we need to think global from, from day minus one, I would say even, then yes, we need to make sure that we connect the startups who are founded here in Latvia with all those opportunities abroad. And we are working on, on that, right? So strategic partnerships, we are, we are as agency, we are, we are trying to you know, go about that and have some government to government talks. We want to have some government to different ecosystem talks. And yes, to basically build a very good network which our startups can later use through us. So we want to be yeah, exactly like a, like a concierge opening doors for them, right? So to also uh, enhance this outreach support, uh, we are right now building a Startup Latvia platform and uh, Acknowledging that it, it might be, you know, with a little delay um, if we compare to some neighbors of ours or things like that. But, you know, we believe also that good things, they take time to brew and to, and to actually pop up. So, so expect, please, soon this, this portal to be working and it will be an information portal uh, for startups, of course, but also for all relevant stakeholders, investors, ecosystems and so on. And then, yes, we just saw um, 20 minutes ago or so uh, the, the hello 
from, from our representative in San Francisco, from Tom. So yes, it's very, very great news for us and we really hope and, you know, hope, yeah, pray that startups will use this opportunity. It's a great one and we intend to, to, to make it even greater. So yes, we work San Francisco. US seems to, to be open already for us. Again, more countries and more continents to follow. And yeah, I will keep intrigue here. Uh, well, if you find me and have a talk to me, I might drop a little bit of rumors about what's in the making. And yes, international events and conferences, uh, we definitely want to be, again, visible uh, in, the, in the global arena. And again, acknowledging we are quite small, still we are quite loud, uh, we finally have mobilized ourselves uh, and, you know, the, the public arm uh, now is holding the, the private arm and, and together we are hopefully going somewhere. Last, I guess, but not the least, would be the support for science. And uh, if I'm honest, this is quite an outstanding thing. And yeah, outstanding plus it stands alone as it is. Um, our agency is very, is very eager to support uh, science commercialization, right? And uh, a huge program is being run at the moment where we scout different uh, scientific ideas. Uh, we, we actually have scouts, we, ha we, we actually have people who, you know, roam around and, and, and see what's happening where. And then uh, we would like to, yeah, bring them to the market. This is our ambition and again, would be happy to tell you more about this program. We also have colleagues here who run this, this program. It's a big one, as I mentioned. Yeah, that's about it. Well, I will be... I will be repeating this presentation a few more times if you see in, in the program. So again, uh, recommend your friends, your fellows, you know, to, to come if, if they are not here at this particular moment. I would also like to make a little announcement. We have a kind of a fishbowl over there, if, if you can see it. Um, well, basically we are collecting uh, calling cards, but not just for the sake of collecting. We will be having a raffle tomorrow and uh, three lucky people, persons, will be receiving something super Latvian, of Latvian design, of Latvian taste. Again, I will keep an intrigue uh, a little bit longer during my second presentation, I might drop exactly what the presents are. But yes, I just motivate you to drop the calling card over there. Promise there will be no spam, only relevant information, if ever. And uh, yes, I guess at this moment, um, I will be actually wrapping it up. Also, while you roam here around, there, there are two magazines we have um, lying around. One is co-founder magazine, the black one, and we have a whole section about Latvia. Uh, somewhere in there, if I'm not wrong, page 72. I might be, I might be wrong, but then you know, you know how to, how to you know, go through pages. Another one is uh, a, a greener magazine, which is all about the Baltics and some comparison between, between the three countries and yeah, different information. So please grab a copy and thank you for, for having me. You'll have more of, of me. <laughs> so yeah, Gleb, I will just pass it to you. Before, 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 before I let you go away, most likely people in this room would like to actually have hands-on questions from you. So for the next... The time allows, right? That we are... Right. You, you did something unspeakable but lovely, and that is you took less time, half the time that you had, and I really appreciate that. But mine, it is not because I have nothing to say, just because I'm so that. efficient. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that. This is actually very good. Questions, guys. I encourage you. This is the lady that has the hands-on insight into the investment agency and the startup scene. Let's shred it up. Hands, guys, hands. Who has a question? Guys, don't Either be shy. Either I was so clear. All right, guys. Or guys. <laughs> All right. How many of you got the impression, got the idea of what a startup can do in Latvia? Could you please raise your hand? How many of you got it clearly? Understood, understood, thank you very much. So there's around half a room who got it. There's a half a room that didn't get it. So I'm just gonna pick people specifically. Miss, reading the magazine, checking it out next to you. Hey, hey, what is your name? Could you please speak up? Yes, you. Hey, what is your name? 
Could you speak up a little bit? Can we throw her mic to her? Are you going to catch him? No, you're not going to catch him. Can somebody give it forward to her? Let's do it. Slowly, let's some team play. Can you speak for the group? What is your name, miss? Maya. Maya, can you speak a little closer to the microphone? Yes. Hey, so your name is Maya? Yes. What do you do, Maya? Well, actually, <laughs> I'm representing an international organization. You're representing an international organization. Does yes. this international organization have a name that can be named? Yes, it's Nordic Council of Ministers Office in Latvia, and we are supporting the Nordic panel, which will start. So, what is the name of the company? Uh, or organization? Nordic, Nordic Council of Ministers Office in Latvia. Okay, that's a long name. All right, fair enough. I think most of the people got it. Yes, and we will have a Nordic panel on, at 12 o'clock on the superhero stage. Cool, looking <laughs> which forward we are to supporting. that. <laughs> looking forward to this. Now, what is the single most interesting thing you have in your mind regarding business development in Latvia and startups? Something you can ask from Olga. Well, we are actually already cooperating with Latin investment. You're cooperating. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Understood. Guys, I'm buying enough time for you guys to ask questions. <laughs> I know you're a little like Estonians. You don't like publicly asking questions. Guys. All right. Shoot. Let's do it. Finally, we're getting the ball rolling. We're warming up. I appreciate yeah, just that. Just to start this up a bit, what's the... What's the legal understanding of startups in Latvia? Can you comment on that, of this new startup law? Right. What, what does it legally mean to be a startup in Latvia? Right. When we talk about startup, generally, there is a general definition and uh, a whole list of criteria to qualify as a startup for startup law, right? So if we look at the general one, it's, it's pretty straightforward and, and pretty much nothing new. So it's innovative business, it's scalable, and it has high potential in terms of value added, right? This is, these are three things. But then the whole new story starts when you want to qualify for startup you know, law and, 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 the, and the support it, it envisions. And then there are different criteria, which does not mean that they belong to the definition of startup. It's just really the criteria for us to select the best startups, right? And they are at the moment nine, some of them very basic as in, you cannot have a bankruptcy case going on when you're applying, which is, you know, come on, logical. Uh, but also perhaps the most uh, intricate one would be that as a startup, you already had to have uh, one investment, at least one investment uh, yeah, into, your, into your equity. Uh, and that is uh, when things get a little bit more difficult. So, you know, it filters out those startups who don't have it. So. Yeah, but again, the amendments which we are currently working on, um, basically what's happening, we broaden the definition of investment in this case. If before it was only a VC investment, which again, come on, too hard, right? Uh -huh. So now we are including business angels and we are also uh, including acceleration programs, which many startups go through. So all this will qualify as investment now, which of course makes it, you know, more realistic and more, more real, yeah, close to real life in this case. Did they answer your question? Yeah, definition plus list of criteria. All right, so nine criteria, two of which you've named, no bankruptcy yes. proceeding. Yes. You've also, you had to have prior investment, but doesn't have to be VC investment, clear. If, unless there's one more question here, I'm gonna ask one for the audience specifically. Now, we talked us about this before. Could you put like, three key things that people need to take away from this? Can you help right. us out? Three specific critical things. Right. It's like Gleb is making me pitch, right? In That's a, what I do, guys. What? That's what I Elevator do. Elevator pitch. Let's uh, do it. Too bad we don't have many floors in this building, so well, well, let's I, try I have it. 10 seconds. Well, the first thing, you know, government support is unprecedentedly high. And we would like that startups avail of it. Second of all, government is really eager to open opportunities for startups globally and not only in the most conventional markets, but also unconventional. And third, well, we have more uh, in agency of people like me who are really business minded, who are really startup and uh, client oriented. So, yeah, that makes uh, it a very, very good team to, to serve you. You and stakeholders of On startups. this note, hand of applause for this woman. I beg you, I ask of you, thank you very much.
Thank uh -huh. you. Thank you, Cliff.